you mentioned the other Filipino athletes. Uh, do you guys have a chance to congregate, magdamayan ng konte, magkwentuhan? Uh, and I know you, you know, you got to play against Jaja also. Tell us about mm-hmm. that experience. Jaja, she's. I've gone against Jaja back in high school, college, the pros. Played with her in the national team. Seeing how Jaja has been and going up against her, she's really grown as an athlete. And she's been here for years, so given that uh, she's very well adjusted to the Japanese style of volleyball, and add to that, she's fluent in Japanese. Like, congrats right to her, now, by, by the now. way, because she, re- yeah, she recently passed her Japanese language proficiency test. I just want to share that I really appreciate Jaja as a friend also, because despite her being in a team that's currently undefeated, the number one, and her mm. stats being exceptional, as in really exceptional, she's been so supportive of me playing here. To the point that, actually, we had a Christmas game, our team, in, back in December 23. And mm. I was surprised to see Jaja there. She watched the game before flying home to the Philippines for Christmas. What made it more special was the game she watched was the first game I got awarded as the leaguer of the match because we won that uh, game and I was awarded player of the game. So extra special and I was really happy that she was there and she was so happy for me also. So I really love Jaja and I admire her as a player also. What an amazing story and what, you know, yeah. what, parang ganda nung convergence, ano, nung confluence of events, sumak. So let's talk about Creamline now. Um, when they won the championship, Kyle Negrito obviously just sent out tremendous amount of love to you. Tell us about you know your connection still with Kyle and how she performed this conference and uh, just went through a clean sweep here in that last All Filipino. I'm so so proud of Kyle. I know how hard she worked for that, but there's one thing I just want to share. Boom. Please, back, please. back when Cream9 was thinking about recruiting Kyle, and this was like way before pandemic, mm-hmm. when we were thinking about recruiting Kyle, I did not want her in the team. Wow! Breaking news at all! <laughs> I did not want her in the team, but not because I didn't like her. She's an amazing mm-hmm. person, no yeah. question. But yeah. because I respected her and admired her as one of the high caliber setters in the country. And she could help raise the level of volleyball in the country by setting as a starter in another team in PVL. You, right, right, you get right. what I mean, right? Yes, and, yes. And she knows this. I shared this with her. And I'm I sure. reminded her about this multiple times. But mm. yes, I'm glad she went to Green Line because I, I also get my fair share of advice and confidence boosts from her. And mm-hmm. even back when I was in Ateneo, if you always gave us a run for our money and Kyle was the one setting for that team. So right. I knew she could lead teams to greater heights. Like I knew she would with Cream9 when I decided to take the opportunity to play in Japan. In our relationship, I think it was just a matter of reminding her that she is a great setter because mm. skill-wise, I have no questions. She just needed someone to remind her that she's good. She's She needs to give herself more credit and she should she led the team to a sweep and a championship so yeah. i'm just really happy for kyle did you get to watch the finals and what were your impressions about not just oh the finals gosh, but I just the, the sweep i did i watched all the games that i could even if it wow. ended late here yeah, because yeah. um japan is one hour ahead and i know some of p9's games were quite late 11 20. but throughout the season i know i know it's crazy <laughs> Well, I've always had a lot of faith in Creamline. Like, the system is rock solid, and everyone from the players to the staff, everyone is very experienced. Mm-hmm. But of course, you, you know this, and everyone knows this that I would rather mm-hmm. play than watch big games because I get, I get so nervous not being in control or not being in it. So, and you don't know what's going to happen. And the final series was insane for me the scores were so close and you also have to give it to Chocomucho, Chocomucho right? for putting up a yeah. great fight they played so well this conference yeah. also so 
yeah, so when Cream 9 finally won in game two, I was just so happy and mm. proud and very relieved. And I know it wasn't easy for them at all going into that conference, but I know the team is very experienced in facing challenges head on. So honestly, I like, never had any doubts mm. that they would make it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you gave credit also to the opponent, obviously, Chocomucho, because, mm. uh, you know, the only teams that they, the only team they lost to was was you guys. And they had yeah. cream line on the ropes in game one and two, diba? Kaya yung yes. sinasabi mong kinakabahan ka at medyo natitense ka. I, I totally get it. I want to talk about your team. I'll still call it your team's mm. big moves in Bea and Denise, two people you know very well. Talk about them really quickly, just you know, uh, and their addition and their value to a cream line system and what they're going to learn and what they're going to improve for themselves individually and what are they going to contribute to the team, in your opinion. I got a couple of championships with Bea and mm. at the den, so I have no doubts mm-hmm. that they can contribute, not just you know skills, but also the experience and the maturity that can help Cream Nine grow even more. And you know, Bea is a very vocal player. We love that. We love that in Cream Nine. She's very competitive and she plays with a lot of speed. So, you know, I'm excited for that also. And at the then, she's one of the calmest, most mature liberos I know. So I'm sure she has also some wisdom to share to our liberos back in Cream Nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gia, anything to say to your fans as a last word? Because this is a rare opportunity that. We- we have you and first of all we really appreciate your not only your time but you know the things that you've shared today just incredible uh, the honesty and you know all the the things that we haven't read about so we appreciate that can you can you just say hi to your fans and tell them you know how how much you miss them too you know because they miss you a lot yeah but i want to thank you also boom first for allowing me this opportunity to share my experiences first. and i'm really happy that i get to share everything I've gone through so far here in Japan and to our fans and supporters back in the Philippines. I miss all of you. I miss playing in front of you and being with you. But know that everything I learned here, I will bring back to the country and I will keep doing my best. And I really feel all of your love from back home, even though, you know, we're thousands of miles away. I love all of you and I hope to see you guys again soon.